Hey guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acura, Honda, and all the classics. Behind me, it is a Phoenix Yellow 2000 Integra Type R with T37 spoon caliper, and under the hood is a USDM turbocharged Integra Type R engine that pull out over 500 horsepower. The reason the vehicle is in the shop today is because it got a knocking sound or ticking sound from the engine, and John and I are gonna show you what we're gonna find. All right, John, so what do we got here? So, I know you already talked about what we have here as the car, but we also had a couple complaints. Some things he's not interested in getting into, but we got this really weird noise coming from the timing belt area, and we're gonna tackle that. Car's been here for a couple days because the car is equipped with an ATI race dampener. And in order to pull that off, because they're fit so securely, I had to order this from Summit Racing. This is specifically for removing this pulley. You know, you could probably use another pulley, puller, pulley puller, but I wanted to get the right one for the car. I have this on my car, so I figured it'd be good to have anyway. So this is in, and now we're gonna get to it. All right, so I think the first thing we should do is let's start it up so the audience can hear what noise we're talking about. Oh yeah, you're not gonna miss it. It's pretty nasty. This what we talking about? That's the noise. So initially the customer thought it was the alternator. So I removed the belt, noise is still there. Now we gotta get into the heavy internals here. All right, I think we better turn it off. This sounds pretty bad. Not too good. <laughs> All right, so what is the first step? So we wanted to isolate it since he does, he was thinking it was maybe the alternator. So like I said, I isolated it by removing the belt initially. It's on there now, but initially I removed it. Noise is still there. So we really only have one other rotating bearing in here and it's the timing belt tensioner. And I'm about 95% sure that's what the problem is. And so now we have to remove the belt off of the alternator, then remove the pulley, then we can remove the lower cover. And that'll give us access to the timing belt tensioner which we need to inspect and probably replace well i know we have a couple of obstacles one of the obstacles is we don't have the wheel locks yeah it has a set of raised uh wheel locks and lugs lightweight magnesium and we don't have that so we're going to be doing this with the wheel on because the customer happens to be in california with the wheel lock so we're going to get it done you know a wheel on a car isn't going to stop us from fixing it well some of you guys go to wonder what's behind us with this EK9. So in the near future, we're gonna have a complete series episode how we're gonna restore that very special car. Yeah, that I can't even lie. Mike told me, he's like, hey, did you see the car on the other side of the shop? I walk over here, there's a real EK9 CTR. It's a 99, the facelift, the final model, and it's right here and it's bone stock. Well, let's get back to the Integra. Let's start off by removing the valve cover side covers and then hopefully we can get to it without removing the wheels yeah <laughs> I'll just lower down the motor right now um, so that we can get access to the crank pulley. 
what kind of crank pull is that again? So this is the ATI Supener, Super Dampener, but this is the race spec. So it only has one pulley on it for the alternator. And what this does is, you know, a lot of people will get their engines balanced. What this does is helps take, take that vibration and inconsistencies out of the crankshaft and rotating assembly. So this actually balances your motor. So you're good to rip to 10 grand. So in order for us to take that crank pulley out, that is a special tool. Yeah, that's the ATI puller kit, which I'm not 100% sure how to use, but they got instructions on here and we're gonna get it figured out. Um, a little belt material there huh yeah we haven't gotten the cover off so I'm not exactly sure what the cause is but it looks like from this melted portion that you see right here that would tell me that the pulley is rubbing on it we definitely have some kind of contact issue going on with the timing belt to the cover this thing may need to be modified a little bit but let's pull this off and we can get an idea of what's going on underneath I think that's gonna let us know a lot So, so what is that? It looks like the keyway is either aftermarket, like the other one that we found on the crank pulley, or it's worn out from something or another, but this is where all of his play is coming through. And this keyway here was the one that we took out, which if you've ever seen a Honda keyway, it does not look like that, like a ground off cut piece of metal. So I'm bound 100% sure. That is our problem right there. So we'll take this crank position pulley off. One of the things that we saw, this was put backward also. Yes, so and this- And it was actually cutting the belt. So this is the lower guide and it is cupped on one side. And you're supposed to have the rounded side touching the belt and that helps keep the belt- Like so. Yes. When you put it the other way, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna cut into the belt and it actually cut like a half circle onto the belt pretty much like this yeah just cutting into it you can see where right the belt there. is right there yeah see how the belt is all worn out so we're getting somewhere so let's pull this off and see what's going on under here all right so let's recap what we've done so far so after breaking everything down and determining what i initially thought was going to be the timing belt tensioner being bad it turned out that the car somebody fabricated these keyways here they're real hard to see the keyway sits in the crankshaft and then that locks this time lower this is where the timing belt rides on the crank locks it right into here and there is way too much play between the grooves in this keyway here and it's causing you can see it right here a lot of play back and forth causing a lot of rattling and that's what this metal dust is. It's actually pieces of the crank getting worn off. And on top of that, this timing belt guide was put in backwards, causing damage to the belt. So for now, what we're going to do... I don't mean <laughs> to cut you off, but this too works really well. Yeah, not for nothing. We haven't used it to install yet, but to remove it, wow. I don't think there's any other way. I mean, the tool is designed perfectly <laughs> it's for that. heavy. <laughs> that is heavy. There's a series of rubber um, bands and whatnot in here, and that absorbs all that. It's heavy on purpose. This thing will actually rob you of a little bit of torque or horsepower, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your engine safe to 10 grand easy all day long. So, goal is new timing belt, new keyways, and possibly a new uh, 
pulley here because, or uh, I should say guide, timing boat guide. And then this thing should be back on the road without a problem, ready to hit boost and smoke TJ. Definitely gonna be TJ. Well, well, we'll, we'll tell you <laughs> who TJ is, just in case you don't know who he is. But uh, yeah, we went ahead and ordered the, the parts. We don't have those parts in stock. Uh, should be here in a couple of days and uh, we'll uh, catch you guys uh, in uh, just a little bit. Hey, just very fortunate we got actually TJ right over here. TJ, tell me a little bit more about John's comment. Well, all I can know is spinning ain't winning, and that's probably what this thing's gonna do, considering how much power it's making. Well, I'm just saying though, when it's got that much power, when it hooks up, it's just gonna right past By you. By the time man. it hooks, I'll be sitting at the finish line like this, either that or hanging out, waiting. Either that or sitting in the <laughs> tail lights, you know. <laughs> So we are right back to it. Got the new parts. Tell me more about it, John. So we went ahead and we're gonna replace the cover. It was damaged pretty good on there. And we got a brand new one for the Type R. And uh, we also are gonna go ahead and replace the timing belt because the timing belt got some damage because they put the uh, guide on backwards and they cut into the belt. Preventative maintenance. But the real problem we found that was making all that noise was the fact that someone fabricated a keyway and it was not machined perfectly to the grooves in the crank and the cam gear here. And it was causing this to actually rattle back and forth and make a clanking noise. And the OE one fit like a glove. Yeah, totally. You can see the clearance differences on there. I think we got a close up of it. And uh, all we gotta do is go back the other way and put her all back together like a regular timing belt job. Yeah, let's get started. Oh yeah. All right, so we got the bottom pull in. It's time for timing belt. All right, so what we're gonna do now is make sure we're on time. It should still be on time from when we took it off because we set TDC before we removed the old belt. So on a OEM cam setup, you have these holes right here in the oil runners for the VTEC runners here and here. And you would set the motor to TDC and then you could pin these. Aftermarket cams usually don't have that hole in it. They say it weakens it a little bit. Doesn't matter because right over here on the cam gears, we have our timing marks here. These two touch each other. These two point up. That lets us know we're on time. We already know we're on TDC number one because our crank is on the mark at the bottom. And then now we just gotta put the timing belt on, release the tensioner, rotate it, set the tension, we're good to go. All right, so it's time for the cover. We found that with that race spec dampener, it's gonna rub on the cover. So we decided not to put the new cover on and destroy the new cover. We just ground this down a little bit more to give us enough clearance. Now on these, normally this doesn't fit through the cover, but since this thing's all wore out, we're gonna not have a problem. But nine out of 10 times when you do a B-series time belt, you wanna put this washer on the beveled smooth side facing towards the timing belt. This car came in with it backwards that actually made the sharp edge cut the belt. Now this goes on here, then our cover is gonna go right on over it. Just like that. Easy, easy. Woo
All right, so we got the ATI dampener back on. It is a little bit tricky. The kit we had didn't come with the exact right attachment for the crankshaft. I'm gonna have to order something like that, but we were able to work it in there with the wrench, take our time, get it all on. So all this is on. Next step, we're gonna put our alternator belt on. And then after that, put our upper covers on, valve cover on, and fire this thing up and make sure we repair the noise. Things back together, let's keep with a crank. Oh yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah, everyone in the shop, we even me, I thought it was gonna be the tensioner pulley on the timing belt. Totally off spot. It was all in the crank pulley keyway. We got it all worked out, things sound great. Here we are, Turbo Beast. Let's see. Man, it's nothing like getting a turbo car fixed, huh? Oh yeah, and the test drive after fixing it, definitely the best part. Turbo cars are addicting, for oh, sure. Boost. If you guys like the videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one.